Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We have decided on uh, 29 of uh, June not to release an ISO on the 1st of July, but we'll wait for an update for the virtual box packages to work. You may have seen a video already on our channel where we see that that one where we tell you guys um, at this point in time there is a, here the fix that was already fix for freezing virtual box after update unresponsive any arch linux distro the thing is if we today if we today have an uh, install any arch uh, in virtual box the packages from VirtualBox and the kernel 4.7.2 don't work together. So everything freezes up, you can't move any elements and you need to downgrade basically what is in this tutorial is set is downgrade to Linux LTS. So another kernel and then you can work in VirtualBox. Now releasing this to the world on Source Forge, not knowing this information, then we get a system that just freezes in VirtualBox. So we have thought about several options and the option is for us that we say look the updates will come we need to be patient and that's um, a good message to all of you arch users everything will be fixed it takes time it's volunteers and uh, just wait for the updates to come in and then everything will work again so we've decided to postpone the build of uh, Arco Linux until this virtual box issue is out of the way. So the tutorial is not, well, it's, it's a message, it's, it's, it's part of this thing here. But what if, what if you say, hey, but actually I just waited for the 1st of July to burn it on an SSD, on a hard disk, then there's no issue at all. You can build your Arco Linux or Arco Linux D or the B guys and just install it on an SSD on a hard disk. It's only a problem on VirtualBox, not even not uh, even on um, how is it called again? Uh, VMware. So it's just a VirtualBox issue. But we've seen that a lot of people are using Arch Linux on v VBox or VirtualBox. So that's why we wait for the update. But let's assume that you are the guy that says, "Hey, I want to install it. I want to have it." then we have this phase four don't forget it so build your own iso no changes so if you say i want to have it the thing that eric has now which is 6.8.6 .6, then we just install it we have here this github link so our version at this point 24 releases 6.8.6 .6. if you say i want to have this because i want to burn it on usb and i want to boot it from uh, I will start it or install it on my SSD or hard disk. Then you just follow along what they say here. So we need to go to git clone. That's our procedure. And at this point in time, it's an interesting video because we can promote again that you are boss of your system. You can make your own Arco Linux system the way you want. So let's open it, for instance, on desktop. Nothing there. OK. And we do an action open a terminal and we control shift v this thing so we have now the Arch linux iso on our system so the same thing you can do just the same thing um this is the the, the tutorial don't change the thing but why not include both that's editing packages dot both so if you say Okay, these guys put on a lot of software in there, but we don't want this, we don't want that. Go look for software that, of course, you know, if you say time shift and not use time shift. So put a hashtag in front of it. It will not be installed on the USB or on the ISO. It will not be there. Simple as that. So that's what you do. You type things um, to add elements. I think it's called OBS Studio with a dash. Oh, and there is steam as well and there is also steam runtime i think so just type the elements you want to it and hashtag out the ones you don't save it i just didn't change anything now 
So that's the idea of article links. B, build it yourself, choose yourself. Do you want LibreOffice? Do you want OpenOffice? Add it to the list. And then the only thing you need to know is number 30. Let's take a look again. Run script 30, three times yes, test ISO on VirtualBox, burn it on USB and test it out on your system. That's it. So actions, open terminal here, 30, given your password. I always put this guy over here and that guy over there. So I know I'm building. Had build already something, so he's deleting the build file. It's a big file, of course, folder. And off we go. And after a few times, a few minutes, depending on your hardware, of course, if you have a lot of RAM, lots of a big, fast CPU, lots of cores, then everything goes faster than it's when it's an old machine of eight years, 10 years, 15 years old. So the only thing you have to do now is watch the magic go by and in the end we get an ISO. You test the ISO first in VirtualBox. I'll show you how to evade the problems in VirtualBox again. So we have two videos talking about that and um, basically then you burn it to USB and then you install it on your SSD. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, the building is finished. As you can see here, we have uh, completed the task and it says here that we have Arch Linux 6.6 .6 from June 29, two gigabytes. So this is the time we actually just burn it on USB and say, okay, let's, let's burn this thing with, which we call MinStick, but you probably know it as USB image writer. So well, I'm at this moment I'm on uh, Plasma, so that's why it looks a little bit different and it's on Arch Linux, it doesn't matter what it's on, it's uh, MinStick, it's uh, coming from, well, Mint, Linux Mint, and it works always. Any of the ISO 5 builds, Linux ISOs I mean, over 80 of them, they all build wonderfully and burn it on USB. Not build, but burn it on USB. So that's what you do, but if you say, well, I'm gonna test it on VirtualBox first. So we have the Super F7, which is programmed in my system here. And we have different kind of, uh, well, uh, virtual machines ready. The only thing I need to tell them is that we should go to the folder that we just built. So Arch Linux build, that's what we've done. Go to the Arch ISO, to the out. This is what I just made in 10, 42, it's now 10.45, so that's the last one that I've built together with you. So there will be a problem in VirtualBox because of the version of the kernel and of, well, both eh, kernel and VirtualBox packages. They should agree, they should work together and they're not at this point in time. Like I said, Arch Linux, you have to be patient, everything will be solved, takes time and the only thing you have to do is wait. So if you do what I'm doing right now, just keep clicking and just keep installing without going to anything else, stay out of any menu because everything will freeze up. Just go ahead and install everything the way I'm showing you now. I'm not clicking anywhere else, staying inside Calamares. Then everything will be fine. You can install it into your virtual box but we need to do something more later on. So this is the time where this big two gigabyte is unsquashed or unzipped or unwrought or unpacked, anything like that. So it's going to be burned on your system. So we'll have to wait and pause the video. Okay, the installation is done. You can still click here and restart now. Maybe to just show you that everything will break. If, well, no, I'm not gonna show you. You're can test it out, but everything is unclickable and unchangeable as you see anyway now. So we can still click here and that's done then. Maybe we should do control F and just stop this thing. Get rid of our ISO. So we boot into grub 
and then then there's a solution so if you this is only for virtual box guys so again if you're skimming in the video or skipping elements this is not necessary when you are working on an ssd on a hard disk. A disk there is only this issue if you have 4.17.2 at this point in time end of june 2018 the packages uh, of VirtualBox and the newer kernel that came in only a few weeks ago i think two weeks ago uh, gives a problem so we're waiting for an update for the virtual box packages but there is a solution change the kernel now we have um, made some changes um, since i was working on i think i was working on arc linux bxfc i think it was and then of course there is no folder called dot open box uh, or well, no, not dot but config dot config open box scripts to go to the LTS kernel. So what I've done is I've added a folder which called in this one, so CD main bin. And then we have this script in there. So let's CD LS. So there is my script I need to have to get my LTS kernel. So the long-term support, support kernel is the one that I want. And it's also the solution for a freezing in VirtualBox. So if you do want to test in VirtualBox, this is your only way to do it. Get down to the latest LTS, I call it latest, but it's actually long-term support uh, kernel. Get that in, install that, and we can reboot and show you maybe the contents of the script. Everything freezes up, by the way. Uh, everything is unclickable, right mouse click, everything that I click, it's it's not possible. There's only one window that works, that's this one. So we need to reboot. And then the Linux LTS kernel kicks in. There it is, loading LTS, you saw it already very quickly, but we'll do a NeoFetch. Control alt t This needs to be there. If it's not there, you've done something wrong, right? So the latest version today is 6.8.6 .6 and reserve the number 6.9.1 for later on when the virtual box and the kernel are working again, are speaking to each other, are on speaking terms, so to speak. <laughs> All right, so we have LTS kernel and that's why I can move things around. That's why I can click in here. That's why I can click in here. That's why everything looks normal here. Everything works. I can keep clicking. Everything keeps opening and that's fine. So we can test it, but releasing an ISO online that you need to do lots of things and downgrade kernels and all that, it's not suitable to put that online for SourceForge. So be patient, uh, updates will come along. And if you wanna know what we've done, so if you installed this thing 6.8.6 .6 and say, but what changed? You always can tell what changed. Go to the blog, go to the beta. There is every information available that I've done until 6.8.6. .6. There are new configuration, new config, we need to change the script. So lots of fun stuff, we made a new script. And you remember that we are going to use the bin folder for fun, but we're actually using it also for important stuff like this Linux LTS kernel, but also this one. New Calamara stuff, you just read ahead. And the same applies for all the Arch Linux D editions that we've released. We've made a lot of uh, changes in June. And mainly what we've done in June is give you 10 ISOs, 10 desktops in uh, Arch Linux B. That has been a lot of work. And of course the plasma, the one that you are looking at and what the filming, we're filming everything on Arch Linux B plasma. This is still the 6.8.5 version. And there you go. So, um, but more information will follow when we release a 6.9.1, but I wanted to include it anyway. So here is all your information. If you wanna know about this Arch Linux B things, they're all here, phase four, all the desktops we have in one ISO. Again, again, if you go and you say, I'm gonna try out this one, 
and you are going to yeah accept go to files uh, just take the first one and then you click here you installed in VirtualBox again when you upgrade you'll be uh, you'll freeze up so again the same solution Linux LTS kernel get it and then everything is okay and it's solved all right enjoy Arc Linux um, and uh, we'll wait for the updates to come on and then we'll put it on SourceForge. Cheers.